returns to answer your question as the Magnesite movement marches forward to one million subscribers. One hundred and... Let me see here. How many subscribers are y'all now? Because it changes from time to time. Let's see here. Yeah. 114,000 strong. Now, this was a very simple question. This came from the 10 percenters. This came from the Magnesitas. And this Magnesita says, um, she basically wants to know the pros and cons of a long distance relationship. It says, proud 10% Magnus answers request. Let's keep my name out of the video. I've gotten some creepy messages since I started openly, <laughs> openly <laughs> following uh, your behind. <laughs> Tempted to go back to my other username. Stop being perverts, Magnusites, and harassing her. Uh, question, what are the pros and cons of a long distance relationship? Thanks in advance. Well, um, I, I'll tell you this, Mama Magnusita. I've been in a couple of long distance relationships and the pros are, and I don't know how many pros there actually are, but I'll just tell you what I've learned from being in long distance relationships. You really learn to love the person for who they are because you do not have any access to them other than phone maybe webcams now before webcams damn you just had the phone that was it and you could send pictures through the mail like that was it but now we're more of a time where it's like wow i can actually see you now i can see you talking but i can't touch you i can't kiss you i can't hug you and when we got that sexual feeling we can't get no sexual healing you know what I mean? We can't touch each other. We can't do any of that. So you learn. I'll tell you this. You learn restraint. You learn patience. You learn perseverance. You, you learn all that, all those virtues that go along with waiting for something good to come. You know, they say good things come to those who wait. That's what you learn. Be, and, and I have been in a long distance relationship where I actually got a chance, and only one of them where I actually got a chance to meet the girl. And I was like, wow, it was even better when I met her because I had already formed this mental bond, the mental love. It wasn't physical. Sometimes, sometimes physical, physical love can cloud the love of the mind into fooling you, you have more or less for the person. It depends on what your physical, you know, you know, confrontation, <laughs> so to speak, was like. So the pros are that you, you truly l learn to love the person. You really do. Um, and like I said, it teaches you patience and uh, long suffering and all that stuff. It teaches you to wait. It teaches you delayed gratification, which is actually something that a lot of um, financial leaders teach you. Financial gurus, they'll teach you about delayed gratification because in America, you want it now, 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 now. Get it now, pay later, all that stuff. And when you learn delayed gratification, a lot of the, the, the people that uh, work financially that way, they work and they cultivate an, inf an investment. They work at it. They keep investing, reinvesting in themselves, in their business, in their investments. And at first, things are going slowly. But then, eventually, these investments, whether it be businesses, what have you, explode. And all of a sudden, the guy that you saw struggling, that was riding his bike to work, that you didn't know about, was just investing in, him, in himself, and he had a business and all this other stuff. All of a sudden, he's a millionaire because he took the time to cultivate that relationship, okay, with his business. So it's the same thing with um, long-distance relationships. Some long-distance relationships, people don't get to see each other much. You know what I mean? They, they, they don't. It could be in another state. It could be in another country. Two different countries is the hardest.
two different states. At least you could drive to see each other, maybe fly each other, see each other if you're in the same country and it's less expensive. But when you're two different countries, that's that's got to be the fucking hardest. You know what I mean? And um, what can happen, the cons in a long distance relationship, is that sometimes people start to be, uh, they become delusional. Like, literally, they become delusional. They let their insecurities get the best of them. So they let people, um, you know, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll, they may let people get into their head. You know, um, she's over there, or he's over there. You don't know what he's doing. He could be fucking other bitches, you know, this and that. Um, that's, that tends to be the main one. Um, are, are you staying faithful to me? Are you, um, you know, are you really being true to me? Will I get to see you? Are you ever, or are we going to get to see each other again? All that crap. They start Facebook stalking each other. They start Instagram stalking each other. Um, me, when I was in a long distance relationship, um, I actually, I trusted the person. Um, I've been in three long distance relationships. One of them I met the person. But three dis three long distance relationships and um you know I, like I said I, I met one of them and but I trusted them. Um she on the other hand total different side of the spectrum. You know what I mean? Um always questioning me. Always questioning me. If we ever had a disagreement, automatically, I'm fucking some other bitch. Well, I'm doing this. Or I'm doing that. And I'm like, you know, drive. You know, I'm. You know, I had to tell her several times, "You're driving me fucking crazy. You're driving me fucking crazy." You know what I mean? And um, you know, it, it 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 will ultimately be the absolute doom of your long distance relationship, as well as a close distance relationship, when you're insecure. And you let those things get to you, okay? So, long distance relationships, if you have the patience, if you have the perseverance, if you can do delayed gratification, can be one of the greatest things in the world. Because guess what? When you eventually say, I love you on the phone, after four or five, six months, whatever it is, for your time limit, you really mean it. Because you haven't had sex, you haven't touched each other, you fell in love with each other's true spirit, energy, and personality. But, if you do not have patience, if you're not able to long suffer, if you cannot do delayed gratification, then I suggest that you do not get into a long distance relationship because um, basically you have to make it an open long distance relationship because you're going to want the comfort of the opposite sex. There was a girl I was talking to where she, um, she actually started to kind of hang with a guy that was interested with her at one time because I wasn't there. And although she said they didn't do nothing, I don't know, that's what she said, but I trusted her. So to this day, I trust what the woman said. She didn't do nothing, but she did hang with him and she admitted I hung with him on purpose because I missed the attention of having someone there. She said she didn't kiss him or nothing, just hung with him. Um, but you may want to have an open long distance relationship where you both get to date other people and, you know, casually. And then when you finally are able to be together, then you can be together. Then you are actually absolutely exclusive. But um, it can be done. I was able to do it, you know, before, you know, you can have an exclusive online, long distance, whatever it is relationship. It can be done. It can be done. It's just how much self-discipline do you have? And if you know yourself, if you know yourself well, if you do not have the self-discipline to do it, then I suggest you don't get into one. I hope I have helped you out, Magnusita. If any of the rest of the 10 percenters need any of my advice, make sure you write me. If any of the 90 percent, the testosterone percent need my advice, y'all know what to do. Go to the About section. Go to the Send Message and send me an email. Do not use my business inquiry mailbox. Or you can go straight to my Facebook fan page and you can message me there. All right? One million subscribers. Woo!